Aloha everyone. Lisa here with Upside Down Pilates and Nourishment. I'm going to head back over here. So good to see you all. Um, like I said, my name is Lisa Oreg and I am the owner of Upside Down Pilates and Nourishment and the creator of the Joint Pain Eliminator Program. And this is where I help women eliminate joint pain so that they can get back to living an active life that they love. Woo! All right, today we're going to make some garlic tonic as promised. Um, yeah, garlic tonic's amazing. It tastes delicious. It does a ton of gazillion things that we're going to learn about today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the little bell so that you get information when I'm coming on live or on our Tuesday workout. Um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. So Instagram is Lisa Orig underscore upside down and Facebook is upside down Pilates and nourishment uh, with Lisa Orig. So those are the places you can also interact with me. So kids, wouldn't it be amazing if your joints didn't hurt? I think many of you dream of that, that follow my channel. Imagine how good you might feel if your microbiome was all balanced. Today we are going to learn uh, more about garlic tonic and how it can help keep you healthy and pain free. Alrighty. Let's see here, what is garlic tonic? So garlic tonic is basically fermented garlic and it's the broth of the fermented garlic. So you can drink the juice of the garlic and then you can also drink or eat the fermented garlic um, and it has some pretty amazing, powerful effects. I am gonna read today from a book called Gaps Stage by Stage with Recipes, and this is by Dr. Becky Plotner. She's an amazing naturopath, um, and GAPS stands for Gut and Psychology Syndrome and Gut and Physiology Syndrome. And the GAPS Nutritional Protocol was created by Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride, who's one of my teachers, and Dr. Becky is also one of my teachers. Uh, this is actually a textbook for our training that you can get, and I highly recommend having this book on hand so that you have an army of books that are actually in your hand um, for all the things that you need to take care of your health at home, right? And so this is a really great thing. So basically I'm going to read about it and then we're going to make it and it's super fast and super cheap and super easy and it does it's um antibiotics in a jar basically okay well, let me find where I'm going to read from oh did my little thing fell up no it did not okay fermented garlic is what it's called and in her book it's on page two 32, and an airplane just went by and you probably heard it. All right, garlic is well known as a natural antibiotic. It shows fungal, uh, antifungal properties and is a natural testosterone boosting food. Fermenting garlic can be done with the skins on or with the cloves peeled. Cloves can change color during fermentation uh, representing a few potential factors that I'm not going to go into today, but she actually does go into it. I'm going to skip down a little bit. Plant Foods for Human Nutrition, a publication of the ne Netherlands, reported a study on fermented garlic which showed superoxide dimutase, SOD, like activity, scavengering activity against hydrogen, uh, against hydrogen peroxide and polyphenol content of the garlic extract were increased 13 fold more than 10 fold and 7 fold respectively as compared with those of the control so um, this talking about the positive aspects of it when you ferment garlic 
it increases the, uh, the sad like activity uh, 13 fold and then scavengering activity with the hydrogen peroxide 10 fold and then the polyphenol content seven fold. So garlic is good, raw garlic is great, but fermented garlic is even more powerful than garlic itself is what this is saying. They go on to say that fermented garlic is suggested to possess desirable antioxidant properties. And who doesn't need more antioxidants in the world that we live in? What's specifically interesting is they say hydrogen peroxide is generated from the scavengering reaction by the SOB. Fermented garlic powder, here's another study, fermented garlic powder was used in a study with 144 pigs that had just been weaned. The five-week trial showed an increase of total tract digestibility after use of the fermented uh, total tract digestibility after the use of the fermented garlic powder. The Journal of Animal Physiology and Animal Tr Nutrition reported the study concluding dietary fermented garlic powder, so it was the fermented garlic but ground up and dried and then used as a powder, uh, decreased the blood total cholesterol. So decreases cholesterol. The triglyceride concentration was de decreased decreases your triglycerides. Dietary fermented garlic powder can also increase the nutrient digestibility, lymphocytes, and RBCs or red blood count concentrations, but decrease fecal E. coli concentrations in the weaning pigs. That's pretty amazing, you guys. That's, I mean, I think that's really impressive. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more here on the benefits of it. So this is on page 234. Probably the most telling aspect of fermented garlic is its incredible strength against staph and the bacteria MRSA. So that is the uh, resistant, the antibiotic resistant MRSA. Uh, MRSA that is specifically resistant to antibiotic use consistently shows no match for fermented garlic. That's impressive. Microbiologist and pharmaceutical scientist Michelle Moore says, unlike antibiotic drugs, garlic is very complex, containing 27 known active ingredients and dozens more that work in unknown ways. Many of these ingredients can work together synergistically inside of the body in intricate ways to fight infections. The herb is highly effective against resistant MRSA bacteria because it is too complex chemically for the bacteria to become resistant. In contrast, the antibiotic the antibiotic drug Zyvox, which is prescribed for many MRSA cases, has only one ingredient, linozolid. I don't know if the pronunciations are correct. The British Journal of Biomedical Sciences says, resistant to mucrisin in MRSA's is increasing. Resistance to mucrisin is increasing. MRSA's increasing. Allicin, which is the main component, the main antimicrobial uh, agent in the isolation of garlic. Uh, the, t the British Journal of Medicine tested garlic isolates and found 88% of clinical isolates had MBCs, uh, I believe that's the allicin, of 128 micrograms per milliliter and were killed at 256 micrograms uh, Per milliliter. Of these strains, 82% showed intermediate or full resistance to mucicrin. However, this study showed that a concentration of 500 micrograms per milliliter in an aqueous cream base was required to produce any activity equivalent to 256 micrograms of allicin liquid. So basically, the allicin liquid did a lot better than the antibiotic they were using. Fermenting garlic is one of the easiest and most potent things a person can do for their health. I agree. Here's how we do it. Fill a quart mason jar full of garlic cloves. They can be peeled or unpeeled, your choice. Add a tablespoon of mineral salt. Fill the jar with water, leaving it an inch of headroom and let the jar sit for a few weeks or longer. You can add any additional herb or spices according to your desires.
that's it. So we're going to have natural antibiotic that can kill or just keep MRSA out of our body um, in a couple of weeks. And it's just that easy. So I'm going to do it a little different than how Dr. Becky does it. She says fill the jar up with the garlic. And you can certainly do that. But I'm going to make more of a tonic because I like to drink it um, in addition to eat the garlic. So I make it so that I can also drink it. So again, get stage by stage with recipes. The recipes in here are delicious. There's like a meatball soup in stage two that is so good and a turkey soup, which I'm actually going to make in a little bit later. So grab this and um, keep it on hand because there's so much information about God only knows what's going to go wrong. Like you can look it up in there. Same with Dr. Natasha's books. She's got so much stuff to do at home when things go wrong. Um, I honestly haven't been to the doctor since probably 2012, or at least the medical doctor. I consult with Dr. Becky every now and get to learn, and she's a naturopath, so that's a little bit different. Okay, anyways, quart jar. Got it? Very easy. You're going to take two cloves. You can do more. I would do at least two cloves. You can do three or four if you want, depending on how much garlic. Peel cloves. Bulbs. Then you're going to peel off the outside of the bulb, but you can leave it around um, the Close, so you don't have to keep pulling all the whole bit off. It would take forever. You certainly can if you want. There's nothing wrong with doing it, but it'll take forever. And then look, you put them in the jar. Whoa. Oops, I dropped some on the floor. The cats are gonna come play with it. All right, so then you put it in the jar. So it's about a third of the way up. It's basically the same recipe as the vegetable medley we did a couple weeks ago. Um, it's just, we're using only garlic. Now you can put other stuff in here. I'm going to make one a little bit later and I'm going to put some ginger and some turmeric in it. That will, I call that my power garlic tonic. Um, but I'm going to show you the easy way with just the garlic. And then we're going to take our salt. I use Celtic sea salt. It's the cleanest we can get with our minerals still in it. One tablespoon. There we go. We're going to pop it in there. Okay, then we're going to fill it up with water. Pure Effects water is what I use. I can actually leave a link. You can get, um, I really love the Pure Effects. I'm very passionate about it. <laughs> but this is an underwater or under cabinet piece. Can get a whole house piece. I have a filter in the shower as well. Keeps the good minerals in and gets rid of the gunk like fluoride, and chlorine, and all the other crazy stuff. Okay, so then we're going to fill it up just like that. And you want to leave about an inch or so up at the top. And then what you're going to do, you don't have to do this, but I do this anyways, is you're going to put um, a cabbage leaf and you just push it down. And what this does is it keeps the little guys underneath the water. So we want the little guys underneath the water so they don't get moldy. And then sometimes they still pop up and it's very annoying, but it looks like that was just perfect. So everybody's under the water. We, and you put the lid on it. Whoa, and then you're just gonna leave it sit. So I like to leave it sit for at least two weeks, if not a month, all right? The longer it sits, um, the more powerful it gets, and then also like the really strong bite of the garlic calms down. So I um, will drink the broth, but then also I chop up the garlic and put it in with my sauerkraut or with my other fermented vegetables delicious I love it so now we're remember this is really strong so this is going to cause you some die off so I'm going to share with you how you can slowly build it up all right you want to start after it's sat for about two weeks if not longer you want to start with one teaspoon of the juice 
mixed with one teaspoon of water and then take that and you can take it it's a good to take 10 minutes before you eat that's going to also help to increase your stomach acid levels so you digest your food get rid of your GERD make sure there's no bad bugs um, inside of your gut as you're processing your food uh, so you just do one teaspoon of the juice and one teaspoon of the water 10 minutes before you eat. And then you look for die off. And we've gone over this before, but die off can be anything from headache, nausea, diarrhea to a rash. So see this on my eye right here? This is some die off I'm having. I'm actually doing a heavy metal detox and parasite cleanse right now. And I have to say it's kicking my butt a little bit, kids. But so here's a little bit of die off from the heavy metal detox and parasite cleanse that I'm doing. This is a great way to clear out parasites or bad yeast or bad fungus um, and to start slowly and just have it as a part of your regular routine. So I highly recommend it for that. You start with the one teaspoon of each and then about every four days you can increase it if your die off isn't too bad. Okay, so if it's, it can also be those of us who have joint pain, die off can be joint pain. All right. And sounds crazy and it doesn't make any sense until you start doing it and you're like oh my god all my joint pain is coming from these horrible bugs in my gut and the horrible bugs in our gut eat off from the heavy metals in our body and i should do a whole episode on heavy metals and our microbiome and how it all comes together and sometimes you got to get rid of the metals before the bugs will go which is what i'm doing right now in any case so you're going to build up to four ounces of the garlic tonic and four ounces of water twice a day before a meal. So that's about eight ounces. So you can get yourself a little shot glass, what I have, or I have these little old yogurt thingies that I use, like little old yogurt, tiny yogurt containers. Fill it up halfway with this in water and then chug it before I eat. Um, but anyways, at one point a few weeks ago, I actually thought that my garlic tonic was a little more diluted than it was, and I did eight ounces of straight garlic tonic. I chugged it, and I woke up the next day, and I passed a handful of these fabulous parasites I'm trying to get rid of, and it was really kind of horrifying and disgusting, and I'm sorry that I'm sharing it on YouTube, but these are the things that we go through when we're in process of getting perfect with our health, which is what I'm going for, absolutely perfect. So. That is our garlic tonic. Those are all the wonderful benefits of it. Um, yeah, so I would give it a go. Super easy, super cheap. Start taking it every day, especially I think we're going to have a really exciting flu season this year, which has already started here in Hawaii. So if you're concerned about the flu season, this is going to be a really great way to help keep you healthy as part of your health building regime. And Dr. Becky's book has a lot of information. In fact, she has a natural flu shot. Maybe I will do that in a couple weeks. Um, share the natural flu shot that she has in her book, which is quite exciting and does all sorts of other wonderful things. So I think that's all I've got. I don't see any questions, comments, or concerns, but if you do make the garlic tonic, let me know how it went. Let me know if you have questions um, in the comments, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Otherwise, I will see you on Tuesday for another uh, workout. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a really wonderful day. Aloha.